Good morning, JFM families. Today we are talking about faith and works, which really can go hand in hand. And that's what the book of James is going to tell us. So let's uh, pray and then we will dig into our scripture. Jesus, thank you so much for today. And thank you that because we love you, we can show others by the things that we do and that we say. We ask that you give us opportunities to show our love for you to others this week. Amen. So our faith in Jesus or our love of Jesus isn't about the things that we say and say that we believe. It's about what we do a lot of times. It really needs to be lived out. So our love for Jesus really should change the way that we think and the way that we act. So let's check out what the book of James has to say about that. This is James 2, 14 to 17. And then we're going to jump to the verse 26 at the very end. So here's what, what it has to say. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say that you have faith, which would be like love of Jesus, but you don't show it by your actions, can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, goodbye, have a good day, and stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give them anything to eat or any clothing. What good does that do? So, so you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Just as the body is dead without breath, so is faith. It is dead without good works. So I don't have anything super like wow factor to show you today, but I really thought about it. It's when we love Jesus, it is. It's supposed to change the way that we act and the way that we think. So I wanted to show you this with something simple. Here is a pack of flowers, uh, flower seeds, sorry, pack of flower seeds, all sorts of flower seeds, which have been sitting in my garage, I'm trying to think how long, I mean, they have been in there a really long time. Yeah, it was in my gardening bag and it says that they should have been sold by 2013. So they've been there for a really long time. But this is what I know about seeds. Unless I do something with all these seeds, absolutely nothing's going to happen. So truthfully, these have been in my garage. They've even moved with me. They've been in my garage quite a few years. And because I've done nothing with them, not a single thing has happened with them. They have stayed the same. And in order for them to become something else, they need to have something done to them. I need to take action. Just like my love for Jesus makes me want to do things differently. So what has to happen is in order for them to grow, they have to be taken out of the package first. I mean, they haven't even made it that far yet. They need to be taken out of the package. They need to be put into dirt. Then they need to be cared for. So what else do they need? They then need air and water and the proper amount of sunlight. If you have too much sun, they get all droopy and gross and die. And if they don't have enough sun, same thing. They get droopy and gross and they die. But they will grow. Some of them might have some issues and take a little bit longer, but things will start to change because of what I'm doing to them. They eventually will become some flowers, but only if I take action. So as much as I believe that these seeds will become flowers, unless I do something about it, nothing's going to change. And so how can you change the things that you do and say to treat other people in ways that they know that you love Jesus? That's my challenge for you this week. Are there ways that you should be acting to be able to show God's love to people? And then also when you look at flowers, think about all the work that goes into it. It's not always simple to change the way you treat people. Sometimes it takes you being very, very intentional, putting thought into it in the way that you treat people. So this week, look for ways to treat others that would show that you love Jesus. We'll see you next week.